Hello there! Oh, that was maybe a little yeah. too loud. Hello there, YouTube. Here's Jimak with another Battlefield video. And while you are watching me fool around in a chopper, trying to land it inside a flat in one of those high-rise buildings, um, this is not uh, what you're going to be watching. I'm trying a new thing here because I've always given you either some fun bits or full gameplay commentaries. But I've never really did any sort of either gun review or gameplay analysis. And I think it would be fun because, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Land it. Ta-da. <laughs> and of course I have mines to repair my chopper. Um, so I've never really uh, analyzed what I do wrong. And I think it would be beneficial. Uh, it definitely helps me to review the footage and see, oh my god, what am I doing horribly. Uh, and I think it would be useful even for some of you novice players that haven't clocked in insane hours like we did. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. This is going to be about infantry, so the... Um, Aftermath DLC is a perfect yeah, set of yeah, maps I to to do this. I'm playing the Assault Kit, the Killer class, and I have the uh, M416, which is one of the uh, better assault rifles. Now all the assault rifles are great, but uh, the M16 and the M416 um, are the sort of general purpose rifles that work. That aren't exceptional in any one uh, property but they're just good um, in everything so they reload fast uh, they're precise their fire rate is decent they're just all around good weapons so if you pick uh, either the m16 or the m416 um, you're gonna have a great weapon at your hand at any encounter <laughs> So even at close range, you still have a chance, even going against carbines. Um, now the basic of a controlled uh, gunfight, which means that you're not, you know, you don't uh, jump into a person unsuspectedly, is to always be close to a cover. So what you're seeing here is me getting uh, into a long range gunfight. I don't even see the guys across this road uh, and I engage them without having any sort of cover at my disposal. That is wrong. What you want is to have something on your side or be behind a wall or something so you can either go prone, duck or um, you don't usually want to strafe, go sideways, but you are slightly behind the cover and you turn like 60 degrees and sprint towards it. Now, I'm still going to be exposing my body quite uh, quite a bit, yeah. but the, yeah, yeah. this, this uh, well, rubble or broken up road here uh, provides much better uh, cover than... Um, where I started shooting from. So the problem is, it's true for the Charlie flag, uh, or most of the time, you can be engaged from 360 degrees. It's a really bad flag to be taking. If you have options, if you're closer to a different flag, take the, the other flag. Charlie is really gonna make you die. Um, but here, I'm trying to use the... Um, the uh, mini-map and also uh, I'm aware where these guys are spawning. I, unfortunately I don't manage to take out this guy and follow up with a very big mistake. Now you see me trying to jump over these stairs and get stuck but even if I didn't it's not a very smart thing to re-enter uh, a line of sight where you were last seen by an enemy because they are adjusting to your last position and they will be ready for you when you re-enter it. So every time 
you sort of manage to escape uh, from uh, somebody firing at you, try to take a different route so they have to readjust when they again get a line of sight. Um, so they're not at advantage, uh, so you're both on the same playing field. Or even if you manage, like if I would go up, jump, then I would be shooting at their back. They usually expect you to go where uh, they last saw you. It really is that way. I've, 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 uh, ever since I started doing this, um, it usually is that way. But I do manage to win that gunfight magically, mainly Maybe this guy wasn't as experienced, but mainly I'm holding the 93R, which is a great sidearm for this kind of encounters, where you run out of bullets in your main gun and you're very close to the enemy, which is most of the time. Like that's that's where you reach for your sidearm. You unlock it in co-op, and it is great because it a has 20 bullets in the magazine and it has 900 RPM, so it's firing at a, you know a assault rifle level uh, RPM, and it's beast up close. Of course, the it has like 13 damage per bullet that drops. Uh, I don't know to what, but but it drops fairly significantly very soon. So uh, unless you're very close, like five meters, you don't want to use it, but up close it is a beast. And this is another interesting moment. I didn't see these guys on the minimap, but I sort of expected them there because there were explosions coming from that general area. And um, the more I play, the less I go straight to objectives. I still kind of have this this Rambo mentality, but but usually it's good to uh, look around the area, especially when you have like uh, flags being kept and there's two enemy flags on two two sides. So very likely that enemies are going to be coming from that direction. So I managed to take these two guys out. Now, there's uh, a general uh, rule of thumb that I didn't have a chance to demonstrate in this clip, but it's, it's good because this is the first in the series. It's a good thing to tell you, and that is to always check your minimap. Now, this sounds easy, but uh, it's taking your eyes off of where the action is and, and you're not able to scan the environment because you're looking at the minimap. But I always try to sort of like, like every time I'm camping, every time I'm camping a flag where there's um, no action uh, around me, every time I repair a tank, every and then every sort of uh, Take um, you know, I, I try to periodically check the minimap for just a split second. It doesn't mean that you have to like figure out the exact location of a guy. It's just a very quick uh, idea that there are people close to you and uh, the general direction where they are. It saves your butt so many times. Uh, of course, it's not magical. Uh, there's people running suppressors. And there's people that aren't shooting, so it's not that uh, the minimap can always save you. Um, another good thing is to always expect a guy when you enter a corner. So don't sprint. Don't sprint when you're entering new area. When you're opening up uh, in uh, in some new uh, angle, always uh, walk slowly and expect a guy to be sprinting towards you so that you can take him out. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.